Hello, my name is Jason Sentney and this is Working for Wyoming. In this episode, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about our crumbling infrastructure. Now, since the Dwight D. Eisenhower era, we haven't really done anything to keep up with our interstate system. Now, the problem with that is we have potholes everywhere and we have 33,000 bridges that are deficient, that need totally replaced, they need taken out and totally replaced. Now, the Army Corps of Engineers has stated that to get our total infrastructure up to par, up to acceptable levels, it's going to cost $3.5 trillion. Now, you can't spend that all in one year or even within a couple of years, but you can do it over a decade. And I believe that's how long it's going to actually take before we could get our infrastructure up to where it needs to be, where it's safe for you, where it's safe for your family, and where it's safe for our children. It's money that we do need to spend. Now, you might ask where this money is going to come from. Well, who does the most damage to the interstate system? Mainly, it's this big freight shipping back and forth from coast to coast, right? A lot of these Fortune 500 companies are paying little to nothing in taxes. We need to hold them accountable. We need to hold their feet to the fire. And we need to pay them to pay the taxes that they need to uh, pay in order to revitalize our infrastructure and get it up to safe conditions. Now in this part of the video, what I wanted to talk to you about is I'm going to answer a question from Lori and Douglas who asked, with the refugee program going on right now, they want to bring some of those refugees to Wyoming. What do you think about that? Well, Lori, um, I believe that it's a state's rights issue, but with everything that happened in Paris, it's also a national security issue. So what we need to do is I understand those people are fleeing war-torn regions and trying to get their family to safety and stuff like that, but we do need some sort of vetting process. Now, since a lot of the documentation and stuff in Syria isn't kept up with, how do we check these people's backgrounds? We can't. They haven't been keeping up with what's going on with these people, what they've been up to, what they do for work. Um, when a region like that is in a civil war, you can't keep up with that kind of stuff. So for right now, it's not safe to bring Syrian refugees to the United States. I understand there's other countries around the world that are more than willing to accept them. Um, I even saw recently that Mexico is going to accept 10,000 refugees from Syria. But that just reinforces the fact that we need to reinforce our border. Um, I hope that answered your question. And if anyone else has any questions for me, you can contact me through setneyforwyoming.org. That's S-E-N-T-E-N-E-Y for wyoming.org. This has been Working for Wyoming, and I look forward to talking to you next week. God bless, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you.